In this video, we're going to be looking at setting up OneNote, the unified version for taking notes with a stylus, with a keyboard, with dictation, and basically any other modes of input that we can think of. We want our OneNote set up so that all of those things can fit together intelligently in the future, and you don't have to go back and change things or worry about formatting later. Now, this is one of the areas where I am an expert. And so pay close attention, watch the whole video. If you have not yet subscribed to this channel, these videos will be coming out on this channel two weeks on YouTube for free for subscribers. And then after that, it will go into the member area. If you miss something, it's very inexpensive to join as a member. This course is here instead of on a different platform, hopefully to make that easier for you to get the information that you need for this 2x learning at 2x speed training course. All right, so let's go ahead and jump right in. How do you need to set up the new unified OneNote for note-taking? By the way, I love this new view. It's beautiful. Over here is the artist pad. You do not need to use this. This is available for download. Use the link in the description to find this. So keyboard shortcuts will display down here using key press OSD. Okay, so let's go, uh, we're gonna exit with F11, the unified mode. If you don't know how to download this new version of OneNote, check out my video on how to get this set up. So we're gonna go into file, options, look right here. The fonts, I have Calibri 11. This is on purpose because we want our handwritten notes and our type notes to fit onto the same uh, rule lines. This is going to make organizing everything a lot easier. So Calibri 11, we are here on display. Create all new pages with rule lines. This is important, very important. You can do this manually, but I suggest doing that. Move page lists to the left. This is just a preference. Show notebook list on the left, preference. Move vertical scroll bar to left, preference. My thumb is over here by the artist pad from Tablet Pro. And so I like being able to just reach over and grab that uh, scroll bar and move the page up and down. Uh, same thing with switching between different pages if I need to. All right, so then proofing, nothing fancy here. Sync, nothing, nothing. Um, we're gonna go over here to advance and this is actually where it gets really important. So here in the pen settings, you can see what I have already selected. Use pen pressure sensitivity, preference. I like that, doesn't really matter. Automatically switch between inking, selecting, typing, and panning. This is very important. Uncheck that because otherwise you're not gonna be able to use your pen to select typed notes the same way that you would with a mouse. Very important. Use the latest ink search says that there's problems with that. If you don't have that check, keep that check. Switch to focus inking when the pen is undocked. It's nice, not super important. All right, so that is it for those settings in there. So this is what this looks like. And it's important to note, uh, I have over here, ribbon, simplified ribbon. This is classic. We don't want that. We want simplified. And this right here is what expands. This is F11. You can see up here, top left, this button on the artist pad is doing the same thing. All right, so we have almost everything laid out here the way that we want. Uh, I'll note view, rule lines. Here we are using narrow ruled and we're doing this for a very specific reason. If you want to print your OneNote page then it's important that you understand how much space you have in order to do that. So here's what we're gonna do. We're going to tap right over here. And we're gonna start talking using dictate. The keyboard shortcut for this is Alt plus tilde, which is that key up in the upper left hand corner. And what you're gonna notice is that by default, Dictation stops writing at a certain spot on the screen and it loops back. It does a uh, word wrap. And it shows you about how far 
you want to go to the right and have this still print out on one page. Okay, so what I want to demonstrate here is if you're trying to print something, you're doing a report or something, it is important to know how far you can go before this starts getting weird when you go to print it. Okay, so now we have, let's go ahead and undo that. We have a good idea of how far this page can go. So we can zoom in. And then if we want to do our handwritten notes, we can have a good idea how far they can go before we need to stop right here. All right, so we're gonna go into a lot more than just the setup, but I wanted to give you a good idea how to use the new setup with the unified OneNote and what you need to do, what things are important jumping into that. All right, what do you guys think about the new unified OneNote? Do you like the design changes? Do you have questions about it that you want me to cover in this course? Make sure to put those in the comment section below. I'm very excited about this change from OneNote. I've wanted to have just one and have more keyboard shortcuts and the UWP OneNote did not have as many keyboard shortcuts. So this is a really welcome change. It looks beautiful. They did a fantastic job. Just a reminder, this video will be available for two weeks after launch and then it will be going into the member area. So make sure you subscribe if you wanna get those for free. If you miss some of these videos and you want to watch the entire course, then make sure that you become a member. It'll support me and my family. You will learn a lot of new things in this course and it'll be very helpful. All right, until next time, stay creative and have a wonderful day.